Hi, it's Thursday, October 22nd. Got a place to film and stream, so I'm going to do so. And I've said I'd talk about interest rates, and uh, I'm going to do so. I'm looking at the three month, six month, 12 month, two year, 10 year, 30 year, looking at the coupon rates and the maturity and the, and the yields. Um, the two year coupon rates 1%, yielding 0.95%. The 30 year coupon rate 4.5%. And yield is 4.25%. So right now, essentially, if you go out and buy a government bond, which means you're going to basically invest in U.S. government debt, supposedly the riskless rate, uh, you're going to get paid 4.25% a year. So if you invested $100,000, you'd get $4,250 a year in interest. And if you invested a million, you'd get $42,500. And there's people that invest that much, and then, of course, institutions will invest even more than that. Now, the risky thing, and I've been talking about this as a trade of a lifetime, and I've been busy with all kinds of things, um, legal problems <laughs> with, with some people. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't want to get into it, but it's, it's kind of been distracting for me. Um, but back to interest rates. Um, so if you lend, let's say, hundred grand to the U.S. government for 30 years, uh, or you buy somebody else that have, has already made that investment, you buy their thing in the open market, you have a... 4.25% yield. So at the end of each year, you know, you make 4,250. Now, I just like was watching bond rates and last time I looked they were like 3.25%. So to, you know, to, to find out that they're over 4% percent 325 my whole thing I've been talking about shorting the 30-year treasury, if you guys, anybody's done that, they've made some really phenomenal returns. But those returns are not going to cease and desist. They're going to continue. And I'm going to talk about that. So there's going to be returns for those that short the 30-year bond and continue returns. And there's going to be devastation for those people that are reaching for yield. Reaching for yield is they just can't stand this, you know, getting half a percent on their money in the money market. Or they're, you know, they've made some tremendous uh, gains in the stock market. So right now it's like, okay, the Dow's bounced around 10000 Should I put that money in the stock market? And then, you know, your returns, you really should adjust them for inflation which I think is artificially low, as reported, reported by the U.S. government. But let's go back to the th 30 years, because this will be of interest to people on Wall Street, uh, people that are in the bond market. Um, and I also I like to make it interesting for people that don't have this, uh, you know, that aren't completely fascinated by financial market, markets like I am. It's just, it's, it's kind of an obsession. I haven't been able to step with it, but... That's why I'm kind of like shocked at, whoa, it's over 4%, 4.25% on the long bond. But let's just talk about the third-year bond and the principles behind shorting it and, uh, and and how much your money's worth. So let's say somebody puts in 100000 and they're going to get a 4.25% right now, okay? Um, war breaks out with Iran, which I think will happen within the next 12 months. Uh, oil goes over 100 goes over 120 in fact, we see 150 again. Gold takes off to 1200, 1300, 1500. A lot of these things happen, and people start to say, you know, I think the U.S. is running up a lot of debt there. Actually, people are saying that, but more people say, you know, I just, you know, you know, 1.4 trillion dollar annual deficits. The U.S. government spending 1.4 trillion dollars every year, um, more than they have. <laughs> It just, I mean, the figures are so astronomical, it's kind of hard to even conceive of them. But that, that's a massive amount. I mean, back when we complained about Bush, you know, he was running $200 billion deficits, and we would yearn for the former Clinton years when there was actually a balanced budget for a little while. So right now, the deficits, and it's, uh, you know, it's the, the things that have led to this have been building up for years, but are just horrifying. So people say, and people in China are already thinking about this and obviously by the yield going up but they're saying you know what I don't know if I want to lend when the US government for 30 years at 4.25 percent I feel more like you know I want them to pay me like five six seven eight percent nine percent so let's just get let's say within within a year or two uh, yields on 30-year bond go to nine let's say 8.5 nine percent which is double what they are now. Now that's not such an extreme projection in my view, and I, I've, I'm extremely confident it will happen uh, because of war breaking out, because of tremendous printing, and because of the dollar becoming worth less and less and less, and eventually becoming worth less. So, 
let's say the 30-year bond in the next 12 to 24 months, the yield does double or go to 8.5%. Well, what that does to your principal or corpus is it basically cuts it down by 50%. So if you had 100000 in a 30-year bond or bond fund that was 30-year bond stuff, your 100000 would be worth 50000 If you had a million, it would be worth 500000 if you're a portfolio manager and you have like say a billion in 30 year bonds, then that billion would be worth 500 million. You would lose 500 billion and you would lose your job and things like that. So we're talking big, big money here. So really rich people, uh, if they put a bunch of money in 30 year bonds, and they kind of just say, hey, I'm going to wait, you know, leave it there for a few years. They're going to get killed. They're going it, to, it's going to be the worst financial mistake of their, of their lives. It's going to be a horrifying financial mistake, a fatal financial mistake. And uh, sadly for, for them, and I know a lot of us aren't in that situation, but people are reaching for yield, institutions are reaching for yield. And um, I think these interest rate moves will happen really quick. So... We could easily be seven, eight percent on the thirty-year bond, twelve months from now, easily, and so people would lose tremendous amounts on the corpus or principal if they're in the thirty-year bonds. Now the Wall Street guys and money market guys, some of those are like, you know, they'll they'll get out as soon as it's five percent or six percent. They have these triggers; they'll get out. But grandma retiring and putting money in the thirty-year bond or some financial planner that says, hey, you know what, we'll put them over here in Treasuries. Um, if they don't get out before interest rates go up, they're going to have their corpus or their principal wiped out. So I'm going to continue to watch the 30-year bonds, and I need to watch them more. I just have been really busy with a lot of things and very busy. But I'm kind of a little bit surprised to see it move so fast. I mean, it was 3.25 last time I looked. And at, at the bottom of this trough, um, some of you may recall, just maybe a year ago, the 30-year bond, year, year and a half, was at a yield of 2.52 for a few days. I remember that. So already it's marching upwards in yield. We will continue to see that. And uh, I think shorting the 30-year bond a year out will be one of the trades of a lifetime. And so uh, I, a lot of people made a lot of money from my recommendations. I'm happy about that. And people that follow this one, shorting the 30-year bond uh, out a year I think it'll be, maybe you can take me out to sushi if, uh, you know, after the quarantine and all that kind of stuff. You can take me out to sushi and we could, we could celebrate that you made a lot of money. Take care, rock on, and watch that 30-year bond and the yield on it, which today, uh, coupon rate 4.5%, yield 4.25% on a 30-year bond. Take care. Ciao.